Hi, I'm Celeste Welty, an extension entomologist at Ohio State, where I work on the biology and management of pests that attack fruit and vegetable crops. Today we're going to talk about the brown marmorated stink bug, which is one of our newest pests. It is an invasive pest that comes from Asia, and it first showed up in Pennsylvania in around 2001. We first found it in Ohio late in 2007. Um, and it is known for causing a tremendous amount of damage to a wide variety of crops. It feeds on all sorts of things, but particularly it loves apples and peaches on the fruit. It also really likes sweet corn and soybeans, uh, as well as a wide variety of other crops. So it's really been causing huge problems more to the east of us in states like uh, Maryland and Pennsylvania and New Jersey. In Ohio, it's been slowly working its way in. We began a monitoring project using traps back in 2011. And in those early years, we picked it up in some places and not in others. In our most recent year, we picked up the stink bug basically wherever we tried putting traps. However, at many of the sites in Ohio, it's still very low density. So many of the growers report they are not seeing the damage in their crops, but they do see the, the bugs spending the winter in their houses. Um, so we do know it is slowly building. In terms of how to manage it, the first uh, tactic that came to the minds of most growers that were seeing serious problems was just spraying. And they didn't just have to spray once, they usually had to spray many times with fairly harsh insecticides. Um, however, there has always been interest in whether there's a more sustainable method, such as biological control. Uh, many studies were done in those early years when it arrived, and we found our, our native natural enemies were just not up to the job. They did not seem to be able to attack the brown marmorated stink bug. Uh, we knew there was a really good tiny little wasp in China that does a really good job there of keeping it under control, but we were not allowed to bring that in. But then everything changed in 2014. That little tiny wasp showed up on its own in Maryland. Uh, and then since then, it's been found in several other states. We were very fortunate uh, to be looking for it in 2017, and we picked it up. This tiny, tiny wasp, we call it the samurai wasp. Its scientific name is Trisulcus japonicus. Sometimes we call it TJ for short. Uh, so in order to get a colony of this little wasp, we have to have a healthy batch of stink bug eggs because this wasp is a parasitoid of the eggs, meaning once it lays its eggs in those eggs, then those eggs will never hatch into stink bugs. They will just uh, turn into more samurai wasps. So we need to get fresh stink bug eggs every day. So that brings us to what you see behind me is our colony of stink bugs. In each of these cages, we have about 100 stink bugs in with bean plants and raw peanuts, uh, a few things, um, other foods occasionally to keep them happy. And we go in every morning and hunt for egg masses. If we find an egg mass, we just use a cork board to cut out that little piece of the leaf. Um, then we glue those onto little cards and count them, and then we take that card and put it in our tubes where we have the samurai wasps and allow them to lay their eggs in these stink bug eggs. To keep the wasps alive in the lab, we feed them a dilute honey solution that we brush onto the netting covering their vials. The other machine we use in taking care of the samurai wasp is a growth chamber where we keep them at a cooler than, um, cooler than room temperature. Right now we have this set at about 53 degrees. And the reason for this, it just sort of slows down their metabolism. They live a little longer and they don't fight with each other as much. They're actually very aggressive and they often uh, beat each other up. So it helped us get them through the winter by slowing them down. And uh, for whichever ones we're not actively using to parasitize eggs, we keep them in this cool chamber. So here is one of the sites where we are going to do a release of the samurai wasp. We are choosing a tree line that's adjacent to an orchard, and we're just finding uh, some nice trees. This happens to be a mulberry that has a lot of very reachable branches. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to hang all of the pouches in a relatively small area. Once we get to the field, we have our box of supplies. It has 15 mesh pouches and 15 parasitized egg masses. So what our student helper Vashtai is doing right now is dropping one egg mass into each pouch. And then in a minute, we are going to then attach those pouches to the trees. Uh, we know that those uh, samurai wasps should be emerging from these egg masses in about one day. 
We want to mark the center of the release area by a post onto which we have a lure for the brown marmorated stink bug so that any stink bugs that are in the area come to this specific spot and hopefully lay eggs. Now what the helpers are going to do is take each of those black mesh pouches, uh, hang it on a branch with two miniature clothespins, and then mark each pouch with a colored flag. Several weeks later, we return and retrieve the pouches. We can tell how many of the eggs did have parasitoids emerge from them when we examine them later in the lab. The overall goal of this project is to establish the parasitoid that's called the samurai wasp on farms throughout Ohio. This will increase the amount of biological control of brown marmorated stink bug over time, thus lowering the amount of injury that this pest causes to a variety of crops, and thereby, we hope, reducing the amount of insecticide that growers need to spray to protect their crops. If you have any questions about this project, please contact me.